Hey guys, I'm starting off using my primer spray and beforehand I use my alcohol free toner by Neutrogena. I wanted to show you guys my kiss press ons also. I'm starting off with brows. I'm gonna outline with my super slim brow pencil and the packaging looks like this. I'm starting off outlining the tail of my brows. Later on, I'm going to fill it in with a brow gel. But right now, I'm just outlining my brows. Now I'm finishing up the second brow. And I do this very lightly. But I do it to where I can actually still see it. Because this is going to help me later on when I do my brows. It's going to make it very much easier for me. Now I'm going towards the front a little bit more. I'm going right in the front. But not directly in the front. And now I'm just defining my brow tail a little bit more. So when I add my concealer it doesn't take away from what i actually just did now i'm outlining my brows with my concealer i use a concealer that's one or two shades lighter so when i put my concealer on my eyes or even eyeshadow i still have a highlighted brow bone but not too highlighted i want it to always look natural so now I'm just defining my tail once again. I'm only going directly under with the concealer because I wanted to have a highlighted look. I'm mostly defining the tail because that's where I want my highlighted look to stand out the most without me even having to put highlighter or even a lighter shade there. I wanted to have a naturally highlighted look so now i'm just defining under my brows because that's why i feel like i like the most so i really take my time on this one the key to making this step very precise and how you really want it is to keep your face relaxed and know exactly how you want it to look before to blend this all out i'm using my elf flawless concealer brush I call this one my ghetto brush because actually I ordered it from Ulta. I ordered two at one time and they both came a little loose. So I had to duct tape it because this is my favorite one and it was brand new. I also wanted to show you guys the mirror that I'm using. It's actually custom made. My mom actually got me into crafts. I'm starting off using my moisturizer and I only use a dime size amount for each part of my face if that makes sense. I don't use too much and I don't use too little. I use just enough to coat my entire face with a very thin layer. I rub everything in and this step is very necessary. Whether you have oily or dry skin, you need a thin layer of moisturizer. The first key to this step is to make sure your hands and face are completely clean. And I'm just really just tapping it in and pushing it in. Because the moisturizer you use for this step should give off a little tacky feeling. Like just a little bit of a stick. Now I'm going to move on to actually priming the face. I always wait 10 to 30 seconds in between every product i use so everything can dry down and be completely sunken into the skin and as you can see it's a, a thicker layer than the moisturizer because it's an actual primer and the formula is actually thicker than the moisturizer just as i was with the moisturizer i'm rubbing and patting it into the skin so it can be all sunken in no, if you notice that none of my products are mixing, they're all going right on top of each other. And you can see, as you can see, the glow to my skin. And afterwards, I touch it just to see if it's giving off that tacky feeling that I'm looking for right before I put on my foundation. Now I'm going back over my eyebrows just to define the tail once again. 
because after I put my primers and stuff on, it all kinds of it, it kinds of fade away and I'm just redefining my tail with the brow pencil because I'm gonna fill it in in a minute. Now I'm just defining the very front of my eyebrows and in a minute you'll see me blending it with a q-tip because the concealer is already there and is dried down my brow pencil is more pigmented as you can see all of the formulas that i use aren't mixing in they're being very defined now i'm going in with my foundation from elf i recently just started using it and it's a really good match me personally i like my makeup to look very natural so i only do one layer of foundation and as you can see you don't see my foundation mixing with any of the previous products that i use because they're all dried down into my skin and now i'm just buffing it into my skin i'm gonna go right over it with my beauty sponge now that i'm on this step i can honestly see that my eyebrows are being more defined i can see the color coming in and you can also see the concealer under my eyebrows starting to show even more because i put a light i put a light layer of foundation onto my skin i'm going back in with my elf flawless concealer brush to blend all my creases like around my nose and my eyes I use this shade to color correct under my eyes for a long time I used to use it as my highlight shade for my concealer under eye but now I use it as a color corrector my dark circles aren't really bad but I still like to have a full coverage look under my eyes I'm gonna blend this out with my sponge and with my flawless concealer brush Honestly, I love this sponge because it's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty. I'm tapping it in right under my eyes. And right there, too, because I have a little discoloration. But I'm tapping it in right under my eyes so it doesn't mix with my other concealer. And like I said, in between 10 and 30 seconds, I always let all of my products dry down so they don't mix in with the other bro i look crazy right now but i'm really just looking at it to see if i need to blend a little bit more and i'm just gonna tap it in a little bit more under my eyes closer to my waterline now i'm gonna cream contour because this stuff is crucial is really important i didn't use the cream contour but now that i found a shade that i really like in a concealer that's easy to blend i really really like it and these concealers are really really pigmented when i start to blend them out you're gonna see that even though i put a little bit of product it went a very long way and one it went a very long way because it's darker than my skin tone so it blended out way more with this step you have to be really really careful you have to place your product where you need it to go and then eventually once you see where you had where you want it you would make very light circular motions not tapping it in just yet but just making very light circular motions so you can see exactly where you want this product to be I'm using a concealer brush that I got from my Amazon brush kit and now I'm going right over that with my sponge that I previously used to tap in my foundation. I'm just blending it out really good. Like I said with this step you want to be really really careful because these darker shades can take over your whole entire look if you do if you put too much product 
this is my elf contouring brush i only use this for my nose if if it's really really good and later on in a minute you're gonna see me actually wiping away some of the product on that side because i feel like i use too much i didn't have to necessarily wipe it away but i wanted this look to come out really really flawless so I just wiped some of the product away. I noticed that I wiped some of the foundation away because I went over a little too hard with my Q-tip. But it all I'm going to use concealer in the middle anyway to define the bridge of my nose. So now I'm just contouring up into my eyes. And I do look a little crazy. But I'm going to go over all of this. So now I'm using a lighter shade for my highlight and I'm going to go right under my eyes not directly under my eyes closer to my waterline but right under my eyes because I'm gonna blend this out to exactly where I need it to be I don't want to go right over my contour because it I'm gonna blend it out towards my contour and in with my contour anyway I'm using a brush so I can really go right over the spots that I need it to be even though with my sponge and with my concealer brush you're gonna see me blending my concealer upwards and I always spray my face in between concealers just so everything doesn't be so dry or and also so I can move my product around you can see me going over where i actually placed it and i'm actually gonna go right on top of my eyelids with the concealer also so my contour doesn't look so harsh and so it can be very defined now i'm actually going right on top of the edge of where i contour so everything can blend in seamlessly when i start blending with my sponge I'm actually showing you guys the highlighted look, the highlighted areas that is, that are, that's on my face and where I actually place the concealer. I'm using the the clean side for my concealer so nothing edits the color or the shade of the concealer that I'm using right now. And now I'm going right directly on top of the edge of my contour my nose still isn't blended but you'll see later how i do it i'm just going over everything with my foundation brush and you'll see that it's all blending in together i really 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 love to cream contour now because it really defines and structures your face now i see the point in cream contouring and as you can see it does when i go over it with my foundation brush it looks like it kind of disappears but if you look closely i'm very sculpted and it look and my cheeks and my nose structure looks very defined and it doesn't look so flat as if i just have on concealer and foundation and now i'm just going over my creases with my flawless foundation brush in between my nose because it's kind of big so yeah now i'm just showing you guys how sculpted i look and i still look like i have a i still look like i have color to my face it's not just one single color and now I'm feeling myself. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the worst part of this video, which is my eyebrows. I really, really dislike my eyebrows sometimes. I try to switch up my techniques. I try to switch up the color or whatever. And sometimes it just doesn't come out how I want it to come out. But I'm honestly trying i still haven't got it down pat i still don't have the brow shape that i really really want but it's it's okay but as you can see under my brow you can still see that light shade of concealer that i used previously it doesn't look like one shade on my eyelids i have a highlighted look and it still looks sculpted from the cream contour and the lighter shade that I use plus my highlight shade. 
Now I'm gonna set my entire face with my black radiant setting powder. I literally just ran out. This was the last time I used it because there was no more. I used it for I think a one year and this powder is literally getting me through whatever at the moment. I don't need a high-end powder at the moment. I would get high-end cream products or liquid products before I get a high-end powder because this one is really working for me in spring, summer, winter, and fall. I zoomed in for you guys so you can actually see what I'm talking about. And right now, as you can see, I'm setting under my eyes and I'm really tapping it in because I didn't set fast enough so my creases are really defined so I had to undo my creases because my eyes are very creasy at the bottom and this powder helps a lot this powder is actually $22 and you really that powder really does make your skin look smooth and effortlessly it, it is exactly what it says a micro smoothing powder the powder is kind of hydrating it's not really really dry it's a finishing powder this particular product i did not show the price because i'm not really sure i just picked it up in the beauty store one day and i honestly i'm gonna get a new a new shade because i don't feel like that one fits me that's why i only put a little bit because i feel like it's honestly too dark or the undertone isn't good enough for me my elf primer infused bronzer is very is a very light shade but i use it as my nose contour and as a blush for my cheeks now i'm gonna set my eyebrows with a disposable wand because i use this on my clients also this is my favorite one and i actually don't double dip because that's just as if i was using the wand and putting it back I searched high and low to figure out the name and the price of this particular product. It is such a good product. If you find this in store or online, it is such a good product. It's exactly what it says. It's matte and it's creamy. It's matte and it's creamy. It's hydrating. It's not dry. It doesn't make your lips crack and crumble. It doesn't come off easy it's such a good formula and i think it's actually expired but it still works very very good i really love this lip product i cannot wait to order more and when i do i'm gonna flex okay i really love the color and the finish this casu lip shine is so good it's so hydrating and this la shock wave neon eyeliner from Ellie Girl is my favorite. I have it in every single shade. Every single shade. And they're really creamy and they're so pretty. Now I'm gonna use my Anastasia highlighter. I got it in a trio from Alta. They is actually discontinued, but if you find it anywhere else, you maybe can find it at TJ Maxx or something. It's so good. Like, I love these highlighters. They're buttery, and they're so pretty. This shade is, like, translucent, and I zoomed in for you guys so you can see that there's really no color to it. Barely any color. is mostly, it's not, I don't want to say that it's glittery. If you want to say that it's glittery, you can, but it's very, very buttery so the glitter isn't flying everywhere and the lip gloss is bomb it's seven dollars and it is bomb and i love the packaging on it i love shopping at shop miss a because they have the best eyeliners they have the best brushes i just love shop miss a and everything on there is a dollar and yes, I use lash glue from Kiss, even though I'm really kind of starting to lean towards not using it because it's very, very sticky. And if you can see in the beginning of the video, I still had eyelash glue on from the previous day because it does not want to come off. But 
my eyelashes are from the beauty supply store soon i'll have my own lashes i'll have wholesale lashes but for now i still go to the beauty supply store because i don't like to i don't care to reuse my eyelashes and now this is the finishing product as you can see if you don't know here the complexion and my lips are my favorite part of the video is my favorite part of the look and my press ones really just threw everything together and now my hubby is kissing me he loves me he supports me with everything i do and right here we just talking it's i really love the look i loved how it turned out i did this same look on new year's eve i feel like it came better came out better on new year's eve but thank y'all for watching i love y'all i can't wait to make more videos for you guys to see i have a lot coming up this year 2021 thank you guys for watching i'll be back soon with another one with another banger like all these youtubers be saying i'll be back with more tutorials um my next one is gonna be me doing a full face on my favorite brat dion my bestie and it's her birthday she making 22 it's lit